Welcome to QSR Nation, your weekly dose of food service marketing tips and business strategies for success. Here's your hosts, Josh Anderson, Beth Oots, and Anthony Pierce from the PFS Brands National Headquarters. Everybody, welcome back to QSR Nation. As always, we have Josh, Beth, and Tony here from Holt Summit, Missouri at the PFS Brands National Headquarters to talk about food service marketing and business strategies for success. Today, we are going to talk about swag. Um, you know, this is kind of the branded little gadgets you can get sometimes at um, some locations you like to visit, including shirts and other things. And it can be really used for brand recognition, employee engagement and rewards, or customer appreciation. So, uh, Tony, you want to take it from here and talk about some of the swag items you've seen and how it can be useful? Sure. You know, I mean, one of the you know, most popular swag items out there is always the T-shirt. Uh, you know, I mean, people love to wear T-shirts. They love to get T-shirts. If you go to a baseball game, you know, they're slingshotting them up into the stands. You know, I know you've got a, um, a friend of ours a shirt on the day you wore, you know, Giggling Grapes Wine. So, you know, it's uh, you know, great people see that. You know, they love to see a constant branding going around. And, uh, you know, and people, they just love T-shirts. Yeah. Some other things, like stadium cups, um, the tumblers, you know, I mean, there's some great opportunities with those, you know. And then kids today, I love those little fidget spinners. You can even get those, you know, with your brand logo on them. Um, so they're great little giveaways. Um, but at the same time, those are things that people take home with them. It's got your brand and great conversation starters. And, uh, you know, when people, you know, how many times you've been somewhere and they see your T-shirt and it's got something on it or you're, you're at your house and you having a barbecue and you've got those little plastic stadium cups rolling around and everybody's using them. It's, oh, man, I went there, you know, and I love their this or I love their that. And, and so it's great conversation starters to help keep word of mouth and top of mind awareness going. Well, they're fantastic just for events in general. So if you're going to be participating in any festivals or random events, sometimes there's 5Ks in your local area. Think about those types of things that are going to be useful to the participants that are going to be there. Um, for example, in a previous company that I worked for, we sponsored different marathons and 5Ks and races and stuff like that. So we had branded sunglasses. So we were almost guaranteed that every single person yeah. that was going to be walking through there would be wearing those sunglasses. And we put a hashtag on there so that way anytime that they took a picture and for future social media use, it was just a great branding opportunity for every single single store that we did. Yeah, I really like swag because like most marketing pieces you have, it stays in the store, but this is actually something they're taking home with them mm-hmm. and it'll always be in their house and I constantly see it. The more so, useful it is, it's the perfect opportunity. Yeah. Um, before this, we started this, uh, Tony, you mentioned something about seasonality. Can you want to dive into that? Sure. So, you know, as you're making your marketing plan, you know, I definitely include swag items in there. Um, so as you're heading the summer months, you know, and you got some maybe, you know, events are like Beth mentioned that are going to be coming up um, or festivals. You know, you're in those summer months, you'll think about things like, you know, hats and visors, frisbees, you know, um, things that are, you know, can be used for that season. Uh, we've done some great things with the customer appreciation events where uh, we've done, you know, big coolers, um, you know, you know, some really well-recognized brands that, you know, we've logoed up with Champ stuff as well to get our brand, you know, on there. But we've had embroidered camping chairs um, for people. You know, we've done um, jackets as you head into the fall you know, we just had a big contest that uh, we wrapped up um, at the end of Q1. That we're having, you know, T-shirts that would be delivered here at, tour- at the end of uh, um, the summer, so that way people have, or in the middle of summer, so people have T-shirts for the summer. And so we just really kind of keep those things in mind with the seasonality. Um, it just it helps with that usefulness and creates the longevity of the piece. Yeah, those are great points. Um, I also know that, like, so how, like, I guess I should say, how cost effective is this? Obviously, you can like brand an entire cooler, which could be hundreds of dollars, or you can go go down to like cups, which could be cents. You know, there's a lot of times that you know, depending on the type of swag that you're wanting to get, you can spend a an exponential amount of money. But there are so many things out there and so many resources that we have especially that can make these things super affordable. Um, so you don't have to go out there thinking, I'm gonna have to spend thousands of dollars to try and get these items that are gonna be um, useful for customers. There are, I mean, you have broad spectrums of everything. You can go from all the way to 10 cents to $100 per item. It just depends on what you wanna do and what kind of items are gonna be suitable for your area. Not every single store is gonna have a um, just a template of, we're gonna use this cup, we're gonna use this item, Item. Every single store in every single area is completely unique and different, and we would be more than happy to try and help you figure out what those items are. Especially the fact that you know your budget can dictate you know what your buying power is on those swag items, and like Beth said, that that can really help. You know, if you have something that's going to really fit your need well, 
um, but you only need a few, maybe you only need 250 for an event you're doing that's kind of small. Um, you're gonna pay more per piece than if you say, hey, this is how I'm gonna you know, run these cups year round. So I, I'm gonna go ahead and order a thousand up front. You're getting a lot better price uh, for that quantity break as well. So a lot of things to consider. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and if you have any questions like that, just reach out to us at MDF at PFSBrands.com. We'll be more than happy to help you and maybe quote you some, some swag items. Um, anything else you guys want to add? Swag tips, anything? Just, you know, like I said, um, be thinking of festivals, events, whatever, you know, be thinking of the seasonality, be thinking ahead, you know, um, you know, a lot of these items, like when we order them, we try to make sure, you know, we're looking at trying to get the Made in USA items, um, which can get a little bit better, um, you know, shipping, and we like to buy, you know, the American made, you know, quality product there. Um, but if there's something that you want, and but it is an import item, and you're, if you're gonna order that online, or you're, you're going through us to help you with that, um, you know, you've gotta make sure you allow that shipping time and the production time of it all as well. So just, it's all about good strategic planning. You good, Beth? That's good. You said it all. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks a lot for listening to QSR Nation this week, and we'll see you soon. Stop by next week for another QSR Nation episode or visit pfsbrands.com.